What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our 2015 NFL Draft Special for the Arizona Cardinals. We're going inside the war room, and we're going to take a look at their team needs to see what players could be possible selections to help fill those needs. But first, let's take a look at the Cardinals' upcoming picks in this year's draft. First, let's take a look at the mock draft rules. Number one, these picks are based off what I would do as the GM of the football team and what I believe the team needs are. And second, these rankings are my own personal rankings, which you can find on our website at footballgameplan.com slash NFL draft. And this is not indicative of where I think these guys will actually go in April's draft. First, let's take a look at some of the team needs for the Arizona Cardinals. Number one, I do think they have to find an edge rusher in this draft class, a guy that can consistently bring it off the edge. Help at offensive tackle, in my opinion, is also a big-time need. Maybe right tackle and depth within the skill positions, running back, receiver, and possibly cornerback. Bernardrick McKinney out of Mississippi State is an interesting prospect at 6'4", 245. If you look at him, through the scope of an inside linebacker, he's not as talented as you'd like. But if you look at him through the scope of an outside backer, he's a second round type talent, which is why I think he'd be better suited on the outside and would instantly upgrade the edge rushing possibilities for Arizona. You can't go wrong with the Wisconsin offensive linemen. They are well coached out there in Madison. And Rob Havenstein at 6'7", 321, had an excellent week of practice at the Senior Bowl. And I think he would fit perfectly on the right side of that Cardinals offensive line. Big fan of Kyle Emanuel out of North Dakota State, 6'3", 255. He's your quintessential edge rusher, a guy that can also play with his hand in the dirt. And I saw him down at the East-West Shrine game this year as well as versus Montana. And he excelled in both outings. And this is a guy that I believe has tremendous potential moving forward as a pro. Alfred State's Rashid Williams is one of the more underrated running back prospects in this year's draft class. He has tremendous agility and also has that home run hitting capability coming out of the backfield at 6'1", 215. I would compare his game to the Sean Foster that used to play for the Carolina Panthers. Devontae Bosby out of Pittsburgh State is a guy at 6'1", 180 that can play corner or safety. Either way, I think he adds versatility to that Cardinals secondary and a guy that can be utilized in multiple positions. Tapping the small college talent once again with Sam Majala out of Fordham, 6'195". He's your quintessential X receiver, tremendous hands, and also is dangerous after the catch. I like what Anthony Ciccolo brings to the table from Miami. He's another guy that had an excellent week of practice at the East-West Shrine game. And the one word that kept coming to mind when watching him play was productive. He was productive as a defensive end. He was productive as an edge rusher. I think he can fit multiple roles for that Cardinals defense. Rounding out the Cardinals mock draft, I'll go back to the receiver position with Darren Waller out of Georgia Tech at 6'5", 240. I think he's better suited to play the slot position in that Cardinals passing game. And again, giving these guys a big target to work down the hash. So let's recap my Cardinals mock draft. And as you can see, talent was added on both sides of the ball. A lot of small college talent this year, and it's a great year at the lower levels. It was a great year at the lower levels. You look at the first two picks, Bernardrick McKinney and Rob Havenstein. I think those two guys can have immediate impacts for this Cardinals football team. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Cardinal Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support. <laughs> 